When they come in through the door, I don't think that they're expecting like this amount of bugs. It's uh, just amazing just to see all the little kids smiling, so it, it feels great. I think my favorite part was I asked a little boy, are you excited for today? He's like, oh my God, I just got my favorite book. That's what makes me want to keep doing this. I mean, what's going on here at Lynn Tech is uh, pretty amazing. All these students coming together and making a difference in this community. 20,000 books. They're building and painting the bookcases that are going to go in the pre-K classrooms. They're working on these blocks to be out in the schoolyard. Each paper represents a page from the famous children's book. We have the Very Hungry Caterpillar. That is going to go into recess yards of schools around the city. Just another way to make reading more engaging. We have the balloon station, we have the face painting. We just wanted to make this a fun experience for everyone. They can get up to five free books. Knowing that more children can just come in instead of having to go to the store and spend money. Especially if you don't have the money for books. Because a lot of kids don't. These kids understand giving because a lot of them do come from, you know, backgrounds where they don't have a lot. So they understand why it's important to take care of each other. Kids have great hearts and they want to give. And educators like myself, I just always want to find ways to allow them to experience the fullness of what it feels like to honor that heart that they have and that giving experience. My kids actually bring the flyer home from their school. Well, they're choosing some books to read, they can read according to their grades. We improve them. You can learn and you get to go to higher Thanks to the Lean Tech students. For amazing job doing all this every year. I think the kids love it. I brought my god nephew down with us so you can get some books. Reading is good for you. And honestly, I think it's a lost art. This is beautiful for the city. We love it. When we thought literacy, we knew we would reach out to the AFT. So when we first called the Lynn Teachers Union and Sheila, our local president, was like, absolutely. And then got us connected to you know the AFT Mass and then the national level and first book. We knew that our project was going to be a success because we had strong partners. Hopefully it inspires a future of kids giving for the rest of their lives. It's always great to have leaders that came before you and instilled the spirit of community service. Once you have that in you, it doesn't go away. I think it's like a cycle that just keeps going. It's like a cycle. You know? So we teach him how to do it. When he gets older, he's going to think about this. I remember Uncle Gene brought me here. So now I can go teach these kids. The teamwork and the spirit that it builds in the school and between the students that are working together. It's a life lesson that they'll take forward and make this community continue to be a great place to be. This is a gift towards everybody here in the room. Basically helping the community and doing something nice for each other. I love doing this. Like I know that today I'm going to go back home, open the door with a smile on my face. And that's really how it is with every single community service project that we've been doing.